Hello, everyone. Birds are amazing creatures that inhabit our planet. Most scientists consider them descendants of the dinosaurs, as well as representatives of one group of these ferocious predators. Today, I offer you a look at seven of the ugliest birds that make you cringe. Let's go! Lappet-Faced Vulture The Lappet-Faced Vulture is a large bird from the hawk family with a body length of up to 110 centimeters and weighing about 14 kilograms. The vulture got its nickname because of the skin folds on the sides of the neck, which look like drooping ears. But apart from the ears, the legs and the lower part of the back are covered with grayish-white feathers from which some saber-shaped feathers stick out, which gives the eared vulture a slightly disheveled look. These creatures live mostly in North Africa, but can also be found on the Arabian Peninsula and along the shores of the Indian Ocean Act to the southern part of the continent. In its habitat, the African big-eared vulture is the strongest and most aggressive scavenger. If it becomes aggressive, other birds try not to mess with it. This species also has a very powerful strong beak, with which it can easily tear the thick tough skin of dead animals. But the big-eared vulture has also been known to attack living animals, picking out weak or young ones. It is believed that during such an attack, he promptly falls on his prey, stunning it with his beak and tearing it apart with his strong paws with powerful claws. The Bearded Vulture The bearded vulture is a large bird from the family of the hawks, with a body length of up to 130 centimeters and weighing about 8 kilograms. It got its nickname from a bunch of bristly feathers that hang down under its beak to form a kind of beard. The head and the front part of the body are rusty white, while the back and wings are black with white stripes on the feathers. Warthogs live exclusively in the mountains in southern Europe and Central Asia, and can also be found in South and East Africa. They did not choose their habitat by chance because they do not like to land on a level surface because it is difficult for them to take off, and sitting on a cliff they can simply jump off and spread their wings. These birds live in pairs, which form for the rest of their lives, and build their nests in crevices at an altitude of about 3,000 meters. It feeds mainly on carrion and likes to feast on the skin and bones of animals. Remarkably, to get to the marrow, these birds throw bones on stone slabs from great heights, and each individual has its own favorite place for a meal. But when the bearded bird is very hungry, it does not wait for the natural or accidental death of an animal. There are known cases when these hawks used to watch for an animal when it approached a cliff and threw it down, scaring it with a loud scream and wingspan. Marabou This bird is a member of the stork family, which prefers to lead the lifestyle of the vulture, which has greatly affected its appearance. They live in large colonies and live in Africa south of the Sahara Desert. Adults reach half a meter in height with a weight of up to 6 kilograms. The head and neck have almost no plumage. Nature has taken care of these birds so that during the meal their feathers do not get in the way and are not a breeding ground for various bacteria, because they have to tear the carcass of dead animals into pieces and dig through the offal. The bird's strong sharp beak, up to 30 centimeters long, is capable of piercing through the animal's skin, therefore, many competitors do not even mess with the stork and give it the right to dine first. There is a throat pouch on the front of the neck of the marabou. It used to be thought that it was intended for storing food, but later scientists found out that this pouch is needed by males to attract females during the mating season. But beyond that, the stork also likes to use it as a pillow during his resting period. The Wood Ibis The woodland or mountain ibis is one of two species of non-extinct ball ibis that differ slightly from its brother, with a disheveled crest and feathers on the back of its head. The body length of an adult is about 80 centimeters, and the weight does not exceed one and a half kilograms. Its body is colored black with a metallic hue. The back, nape and wingtips are decorated with feathers in greenish blue, and the head and beak are crimson with a black spot on the forehead. The head is completely bald, like many vultures, but only the forest ibis is not. It feeds mainly on insects, snails, worms, but also does not mind eating small vertebrates. Scientists still do not know why the birds have such a feature, and only assume that they inherited it from their ancestors. Now this bird is on the verge of extinction, with only about 200 individuals in the wild. 
Until the middle of the 17th century it could be found in the Mediterranean Sea, Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. But unfortunately, chick meat was considered an exquisite delicacy for the royal table and by the end of that century the wood ibis was considered extinct in the area. But in the early 19th century explorers managed to find several colonies of these birds in Morocco and Turkey, where they remain to this day. Musky Duck The musk duck was domesticated by the ancient Indians, for which it was nicknamed the Indo-duck. And it received its official name because of the red-colored skin formations around the eyes and above the beak, which secrete a musky-scented fat. Now this bird can be found in any part of our planet where there is a farm. It differs from its brethren not only in the growths on its head, but also in its body structure. It has a short neck, wide chest, powerful wings, and small legs. Adult males reach 80 centimeters and weigh about 6 kilograms, but females are much smaller, their height does not exceed 45 centimeters and weigh no more than 3 kilograms. Kaffir Horned Crow The Kaffir Horned Raven is the largest species in the rhinoceros family of birds, and also the only predator among this family. Its habitat occupies the southeastern part of Africa. It is sedentary and spends most of its time on the ground, roaming the savanna in search of food. Adults are up to 1 meter long and weigh between 4 and 6 kilograms. The body is covered with black feathers and there are bright red skin formations on the head and neck. Horned crows feed mainly on arthropods, but also like to eat mollusks, lizards, and even small rodents. They live in small groups, consisting of a dominant pair of adults and their offspring who help their parents feed their chicks and guard the territory until they reach sexual maturity. Remarkably, each group of horned crows guards its own territory, which varies in size from 2 to 100 square kilometers. California Condor Just half a century ago, this species of American vultures was on the verge of extinction due to human activity, but thanks to zoo protectors, it has been possible to preserve the population of this species to this day. The body length of an adult condor reaches 125 centimeters and weighs up to 14 kilograms. The body of the bird is covered with black feathers with white triangular spots on the inside of the wings and the lower part of the tail. The collar of the neck consists of sharp feathers sticking out in different directions, while the head and neck are bare, as in many scavengers, which allows the bird to clean itself quickly after a meal. Curiously enough, the color of the skin on its head depends on the emotional state of the bird, changing from pale yellow to bright orange-red. Condors feed mainly on carrion, but there have been known cases where they attack small lambs. And that's it for me, thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss all the most interesting things that happen on our planet and beyond.